So today is a very special video because it's a little hard to see because of the white backdrop. I can't believe that there are almost 500,000 of you guys that have subscribed to this channel. Today there are 10 giveaways. So here I have 5 giveaways full of luxury makeup from all different brands. And then the other 5 giveaways, which would be my personal favorite, will be mystery boxes full of only Gemma Isabella cosmetics. So to win one of the 10 giveaways, all you have to do is like the video, of course, be subscribed to my channel. and of course course leave a comment down below leave as many comments as you want so as long as you're getting involved you will have a chance to win one of these 10 giveaways I just bumped my chin on this box right here so if you receive this one with makeup that's what it's from so in today's video I'm going to show you my top 30 favorite things so I'm sure you guys noticed that I went for a super natural glam today so this morning I had to shoot some content so I just put some little waves in my hair and I did this super natural glam and I never and I mean never skip falsies so the first favorite product that I'm going to show you guys is the reason why I have not been wearing falsies the last I think week which I know it's not much the second I tried this product that I'm holding in my hands I knew it was going to be a holy grail so I had to mention the new Their Real Magnet Mascara by Benefit so this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today so that's why I kept my makeup super natural because I really wanted to show off this mascara I know you're probably looking at my lashes thinking Gemma your lashes look super natural but for me, I am never able to just wear mascara alone because you literally can't see anything. So the fact that you can actually see some lashes is good enough for me. This is by far the newest product that I'm going to mention today because it literally launched like a week ago. But I'm really enjoying this, so I thought I would mention it today. So my next favorite is also from Benefit, and it is the Benefit... 24 hour brow setter and if anyone has ever tried this before you don't even need an explanation because this is the best brow gel so i have to say when it comes to eyebrow fillers like pencils pomades powders whatever i can tend to jump from brand to brand but for me personally i found the product that really helped lift my brow game was this right here you guys can see i'm wearing it now it really does push the brows up hold them in place it gives the illusion of a fuller fluffier brow i honestly can't get enough of this and it lasts a really long time some other brow gels that i've used in the past like the anastasia one runs out really quickly but you guys will see i've been using this for a while and just like look at how much products on it so if you feel like your brow game's weak and you don't know what else to try try this i promise you it will do your brows wonders my next favorite is actually so good that i'm not using it anymore because it worked so well and i no longer need it so i know that sounds crazy but let me explain so i have been using well i've recently stopped like i said it works too well but i was recently using the hair gummy stars so i had tape extensions in and they don't necessarily damage your hair but every time they were due for retightening i would take them out myself and i'd rip out half my hair so that's completely my fault but because i didn't take them out properly i did lose quite a lot of hair so i started taking these and my hair instantly grew so fast and got super thick so the reason why i have taken a break from them is because i am coloring my hair at the moment my hair is naturally darker and obviously i'm rocking a bob at the moment so when you're dyeing your hair and you want to keep it short and blood constantly you obviously don't want your hair growing at the speed of light so after i took my extensions out i took these for probably a month and the results were amazing so of course eventually i'm going to get over the bob and i'm going to want to grow my hair out by the way these were created by Layla milani she is such a boss babe i love her so much so when she created these i got so excited because i knew that i'd have better luck having a gummy over a capsule even when i was pregnant and when you're pregnant you have to take prenatals i hated swallowing the elevator it. halfway through my pregnancy I gave up on the Elevate tablets and I found a gummy version of the prenatals and I ended up even taking gummy prenatals because I just hate capsules so much even if you don't hate tablets these taste so delicious I would just opt for these either way these are really good they're tasty they do the job the next favorite that I have is this hand sanitizer from Aesop so I don't actually know if Aesop is really popular in other countries but in Australia Aesop is super popular super bougie so there's really no explanation needed for why i mentioned a hand sanitizer today this hand sanitizer smells so good i go through these like crazy i literally use it every day the reason i love this so much is because when you're in a group and you pull this out of your bag and you open it and you offer it around 
The smell of it is so amazing. If you've ever used Aesop soaps before, you will know the scent. It's very similar. So the scent that this is is Mandarin Rind, Rosemary Leaf, and Cedar Atlas. So this hand sanitizer is a little more expensive than other ones, but in my opinion, it is so worth it because it smells so good. So my next favorite is a tanning product, and it is the Bondi Sands everyday gradual liquid gold so this is gradual tanning dry oil i don't even use this daily i probably use it like twice a week and what it does is it will gradually tan you without giving that really orange overdone tan it doesn't smell as strong it doesn't look as fake now i actually only use this on my legs because my top half gets super tan because I'm always walking around in crop tops, but then sometimes I'm wearing pants. So my legs never get as tan as my body, and I don't want my legs to look too orange using an actual fake tan. So I kind of use this to balance out my natural tan, so this is definitely more of a summertime product when you've already got a tan. In winter, I do obviously use fake tans, but right now, while I have a really nice natural tan, I don't need to fake tan, but I really love this product just to balance everything out. So my next favorite is actually my press-on nails that I'm wearing. Yep, these are press-on nails. So I really don't like having acrylics on. I get over them really quickly, and every time I get them done, I want to rip them off literally a day later. But sometimes I want to look cute. Sometimes I want to look bougie. So I found the best place to get press-on nails is Etsy. So I did find this store on Etsy called At Cover Baddie Nails. It says it here, but you can't see it. So what I love about them the most is that she gives you a set. I took one off and then you get like a backup set. When you purchase from this particular store, you get like a whole set of like 24 nails. So you don't have to go measure your nails and guess. You can mix and match. Another thing that I loved about this store is that you get a nail glue, a bath, she gives you a removal kit. So if I'm filming content or going out for the night, taking photos, I will just use the little nail tabs. So these are literally just stuck on with the tabs. So when I'm done filming, I can just pop these straight off and they're good to go again and again. So my next favorite is something that if you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, you already know this is a favorite and it is the Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. I cannot live without this. I suffer from really bad under eye dark circles, like right on the inner corner, I get really dark. And this corrector here is literally the only corrector that does a really good job of concealing the dark circles. What a lot of people don't understand is you don't need this deep orange corrector under your eyes because you are going to be putting so much extra product to cover that orange that you're just gonna end up looking cakey and over the top. But with this, the orange is so subtle. It's not even orange, it's literally a soft peach. I love this because it's super natural. You can still do a really soft glam with it. If you have dark under eyes, you need this in your life and I promise you will never pick up any other corrector again. So the next product is something you guys have probably heard a million influencers talk about because this is something I have purchased hearing someone else talk about it and now I'm going to be the one making you guys purchase it because I'm talking about it. It is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So this is actually my second tub. I finished a whole tub. I wish I actually had this when I was pregnant because I started using it after my pregnancy. So after giving birth, my body went through a lot. My stomach stretched. I got stretch marks a little bit on my stomach but mostly on my hips and my sides. So my stretch marks faded quite quickly to the point where they're really not visible. But if I bend over, if I twist my stomach a certain way, my skin isn't the same as it used to be, which is fine. But this cream is a fast absorbing body cream that helps visibly tighten the appearance of skin. I focus this mainly on my stomach and my hips and my legs, but I really do use this all over my body. I put it on my chest. It smells so good. It is like the best smelling cream I've ever used and I'm not someone that has ever like moisturized my body religiously. So for so many years moisturizing my body like daily was a self-care step that I kind of skipped. Like I would only moisturize my body if it was visibly really dry in winter. But since using this bum bum cream, I use it religiously. I'm gonna continue to repurchase it. So my next favorite is also from Sol de Janeiro and it is the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. So I purchased this after purchasing the bum bum cream. So the bum bum cream is what introduced me to the brand. And then I came across the lip balm in the store and when I smelled it, it smells exactly like the bum bum cream and I love how big it is. This is the most nourishing, hydrating, amazing 
lip balm I've ever used. So if you're a lip balm lover like me and you just constantly need to keep your lips hydrated, try this. So the next thing that I have to mention is candles. The candle brand that I have been obsessed with is Bath & Body Works. So as you guys know, we are building our dream house and it is literally like probably three or four months away from being ready and us moving in. So I have been stocking up on candles mainly from Bath & Body Works. The one that I'm burning right now is the Watermelon Lemonade and it smells so good. And they actually had a sale about two weeks ago and I purchased a bunch. I purchased about 20 candles two weeks ago, literally to put away and take to my new house. And I'm gonna put one in literally every room and have them burning constantly. This one actually smells exactly and i mean exactly like the bum bum cream so if you like coconuts and that really fresh scent i would purchase the cactus blossom i just love the bath and body works candles because they smell so good so different and unique to other candles this one is called white pumpkin and it literally smells like a chai latte i love how they all have a design and they're just going to suit every season that you burn them in the smells are just so good. This one's Peach Bellini. It smells super citrusy. These ones that I'm showing you, by the way, I haven't burnt them yet. So I have been loving Bath & Body Works candles and I have stocked up like you wouldn't believe on the candles, the hand soaps, the wall plugs. Everything from Bath & Body Works is ready to go for my new house. Because I'm at that stage where it's still just a tiny bit too early to buy furniture, I have been splurging on the little things like candles, little accessories just because I'm so excited. So if you like your house to smell immaculate and you love candles, try these. So next I have the shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. I did do a sponsored video with them a couple of months ago and I've been hooked ever since. So if you haven't heard of Function of Beauty, you basically customize your shampoo and conditioner and you basically enter what you want your shampoo and conditioner to do. You pick the scent and then you have your own custom shampoo. I love the packaging. It looks super pretty in your shower it smells amazing I love the way my hair feels and smells I love that you're able to customize it and they're just super cute to put in your shower we're almost done guys we are up to favorite number 12 and that is of course my lip products so as you guys should probably know I have created a range of matte liquid lipsticks and lip glosses my whole life I've been such a nude lover since launching my brand I knew that I wanted to start off on lips and we've had some really iconic shades like 1993 which has sold out for the second time completely, so it is getting restocked. So the lipstick that I'm wearing now is Angel Baby and Love Mood. These two shades here, I put a little bit of each and just spread it over. I've had these on my lips for literally eight hours, and I'm not saying this because these mattes are my own brand, but they're super comfortable, they don't crack. I've heard nothing but positive reviews from them. It makes me so happy that thousands and thousands of people around the world have used these and repurchased. And of course, I have the glosses as well, which is the most comfortable, non-sticky, highly reflective, high shine formula. I am so proud of my lip products and there's so much more to come from the brand this year. There are some amazing new products coming and the next product that is launching, I'm so excited because these were a big thing for me. My palette was a huge release for me. Even when I started off with my lashes, it was really big for me. But guys, the next product that is launching is gonna be huge because I believe this is by far my most innovative product. I think the next product that's coming is something everyone that needs, so I'm really excited. So for anyone that hasn't tried my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks yet, go ahead and try them because you won't be disappointed. So my next favorite is actually makeup wipes. And I know it's kind of random, but I've tried so many makeup wipes that are super dry and they tug my skin and they leave makeup all over my face. So the Neutrogena makeup wipes I find are the most moist and gentle and they really just take the makeup off without tugging on your skin. The wipes are really silky and soft and they just glide on your skin. So after tearing my face apart using quite a few different makeup wipes, I can honestly say these are the best ones. The next favorite is the KKW lip liners. I've tried so many lip liners, but when it comes to creaminess and colors and longevity, I feel like no other lip liners really compete with the KKW other than MAC. 
but lately I've only really been gravitating towards these so I thought I'd mention them and I have so many people that ask me why I don't come out with lip liners but the truth is when I'm working on a product if I don't think it's at the point where it's better than anything on the market or of course at least just as good as something that I love I definitely won't launch it with the liquid lipstick and gloss formulas I personally believe they are the best formulas I've ever used which is why I created them but with lip liners I'm just not there yet I'm trying but I'm not there so once I know I have something that's just as good or better than that then I will bring it out to you guys my next favorite is another lip product and it is the Dior lip glow I love this stuff so much and recently I've become much more of a natural glam type of girl obviously you can tell by my glam today so on the weekends I don't actually like to wear full glam during the day so I've been obsessed with the Dior lip glow and I do still go in with like a light pink lip liner just to define my lips and what this does is it reacts with your body temperature and it changes color and it just gives your lips the prettiest flush of color and it's a lip balm so it hydrates your lips so my next favorite is a skincare product and it is the Evalom or Evalom I don't know how you say it Evalom 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 but this is a cleanser and it smells so good. I feel like every time I mention something, I mention how good it smells, which of course doesn't matter, but this just smells so good. Like I am a sucker for scents and if I am drawn to a scent, I'm just going to love the product more. But I do use makeup wipes to take my makeup off, which some days I'm not going to lie. I just take my makeup off with the makeup wipes and I go in with my normal daily cleanser. But whenever I do a really thick dramatic glam, I use the Evil Arm cleanser. This is again a little more on the pricey side and it lasts a really long time. You take a really small amount and it's like a balm. This stuff literally breaks down every last bit of your makeup. I found with makeup cleansers in the past some of them can leave your face really dry and tender after but this leaves your skin feeling amazing and super soft and I love it. So the next favorite is oh my god this is so hard to show you guys. So if you guys have not heard of the Glam Core, this is called the Multimedia Light, I believe. So the main reason I love it is for this little attachment right here. So I actually have the camera adjustment where I can put my camera that I'm filming with on. So when I'm filming, which I am right now, I just use a regular tripod and a regular ring light. I don't actually use this to film YouTube. I use this for Instagram and TikTok. So I literally move this all around the house. I use it as a tripod to take photos on my own. Being a content creator, sometimes there's not always someone there to take your photos for you. So since discovering this, my job has become a lot easier when taking photos. I can turn the light on or I can just use this without but you can really move this to every angle. You can just take selfies with it. You can situate it really low to look like someone's taking a photo from below. You can make it really tall and look like someone's taking a photo from above. And of course for TikToks, it's great because you get that up close lighting and you have your phone right where you need it to be. I can't actually show you now because I don't have the power plugged in but you can make the light super high, you can make it super low, you can make it super fluorescent and then you can make it super golden. And trust me, you will use all of the settings because you'll find in different lightings and with different outfits with different colors reflecting, you will need to play with it to get the correct, I think it's called aperture. If you're a content creator and you wanna take your content to the next level or if you're just someone that wants really bomb photos, this is a really good investment. So my next favorite is another hair product and it is the Kayali Deja Vu White Flower Hair Fragrance. So since having my hair short, I really don't need this as much because it's pretty easy to wash and style my hair. But this is definitely a must have for anyone that has permanent extensions or long hair where you don't wash your hair that often. When I had taping hair extensions, this was my savior because I obviously didn't wash my hair as much, but this, I showed up, I'm using this as a perfume, oh, that went in my face. This is a hair fragrance, but you can just literally like spray it in your hair and then go in with your body and you will smell amazing. I love this because when you heat style hair extensions, they can smell really like burnt and gross. And this is just all around a really nice scent to linger to your presence. Literally every time I've sprayed this on my hair, people always compliment me. And I do like to wear floral fragrance like on my body just to complement it. So my last two favorites are of course makeup products because I feel like being someone who does makeup videos 90% of the time, 
I'm gonna have a lot of makeup favorites. I feel like there's no point even mentioning this because if you watch my videos, you already know. I just feel like I can never look flawless if I don't use this powder. I don't know if it's just me because it's so stuck in my head now, but I just love the way my skin looks using this. Because I don't do my makeup every day, I really only go through like one a year of this. So I don't mind that it's pricey. So my last favorite is something, again, that I've only tried recently, but I've been gravitating towards it constantly since I started using it. And it is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And I cannot go without mentioning the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This setting mist is honestly the best bang for your buck. But what did it for me with this one is the scent. It just smells so good. And I know this sounds silly, but it smells so good that it just puts me in the best mood because it just smells like watermelon chubba chops. And I love it. And I also really love the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa because I love coconut scented anything. I was just going to mention this because it is my recent favorite but honestly all three of these are super good and I do believe a setting spray is 100% necessary to marry your makeup together to melt all your powders. I honestly think you can save any cakey powdery look with a good setting spray. So I've been loving all three of those setting sprays and they are all kind of dewy so if you don't like a dewy setting spray I probably wouldn't go for these but I don't like the really mattifying setting sprays because my skin is dry and I do like to really set my face with powders I prefer to go with something a little more dewy to give my face life again so that is it for today's video I don't even know if I was meant to do 20 or 30 things I'm honestly so out of it by now anyway that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like the video and comment down below also don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I will announce the 10 winners in the description box of my next video. So you have to make sure you're ready to watch my next video to find out if you want or not. So that is it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.